This is Knock Knock, the unsolved murders of Betty Jones and Catherine Crickler. My name is Jason B. Jones. I was 10 years old. The phone rang. Something was wrong, very wrong. That call was about my grandmother. She was dead, and not just dead, but murdered. I will never forget that night because it was September 3rd, 1990, was the night that I was introduced to evil. It was a very uh, unusual crime for our community and of course a very brutal crime. It would take me 27 years to finally get up the courage to ask all the questions about that night. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, I'm not, not gonna lie. It was important for me to see where it happened as I was documenting this and trying to understand it. It was two girls hanging out, watching TV, getting ready to sleep. Being here, I feel like I understand how scary that would have been with the knock on a door. Betty goes and answers the door, and the guy comes in, and immediately Catherine starts hearing screaming and knows something is wrong with Betty. And then he attacks Betty, and then he kills her. He immediately went toward Catherine, raped her, strangled her, thought he killed her. I could hardly wrap my head around it. The fact that there was somebody that had actually committed a murder and then to just rape my grandmother so nonchalantly, you know, and just leave her to die. I miss her. What was done in that house was as bad as anything Jack the Ripper ever did. Standing in front of this house today, 28 years later, what's it like for you, knowing that you still don't have your man? It's frustrating. It's no, no doubt about it. I always assumed that Betty and Catherine's case was cold and dormant. What I learned is that Sergeant Lott is no ordinary police officer. Even though I'm a dinosaur, I, I, I'm constantly getting on the internet and looking at science. Parabon, what they do is they take the DNA and they developed a DNA facial recognition of the killer. We're able to give them a prediction of what that person looked like. So it's essentially a genetic witness. Do you remember the moment when the picture revealed itself on your computer screen? It's like, now I know what you look like. I'm going to get you. Even as a child, I learned what the monsters fear. Whether imaginary or real, monsters today still fear the light. When we started this podcast, I thought that real answers would be years or decades off. Never in a million years did I think that we would get answers so quickly. <laughs>